Hi, this is Dati Rice from here from sportswalkreview.com. Uh, the Portuguese Primera Liga is getting ready for an epic showdown between the two top teams of the league. A win for the home team would push them further ahead of Porto, whilst the win for Porto would bring them on par points-wise with top spot Benfica. Now, there's plenty to play for, but do we have value on the markets? Today's guest is Bernardo Baltazar from thealtips.com, who specialises in Portuguese competitions. So let's hear what he's got to say. Bernardo, thanks for being here today. Hello, Natalie. Now, would you say this is a season-defining match? Yes, definitely. This is the title game uh, in Portugal. Uh, Benfica has three points uh, more than Portugal. So, uh, with, with just five rounds to go, uh, I, I, I have to say that uh, Porto just has one chance. It's to win versus Benfica here. Uh, and if not for more than two goals, then they also have that gap because Benfica won uh, uh, at the Dragon Stadium. So, um, yeah, definitely, this is going to be the title, uh, the title match here. Will you be going to watch the match on Sunday? Uh, unfortunately, I can't because I I, I live a, a bit far from from, from Lisbon and a, a lot of work and a lot of money to make uh, on weekends. So, uh, I, unfortunately, I can't go this time. All right. Will Porto's Champions League exit, will that hinder them in that match? Is that something to take into consideration? Yes, uh, uh, definitely. That, uh, the, the, the match uh, versus the German team, uh, of course, that it has a, an impact here. Uh, but also on both sides, because Porto is also very good giving a good answer, but Benfica is on amazing form. So yeah. this this is the kind of match very very hard to predict in terms of uh, of who gonna win this on the end of 90 minutes. But I'm sure that uh, both teams uh, has uh, plenty of potential to cause damage to each each other. So. I'm really leaning towards for the goals on this match. Leaning towards the goals. OK, we'll get that done in a second. Uh, so we'll have a look at the outrights here. Uh, Benfica, our favourites to win on their soil. 2.5 Labrooks. Yeah. Uh, three for Porto, 888 Sport, and the draw, 3.3. Uh, also with 888 Sport. Now, um, I did a bet battle yesterday uh, with Lee Phelps, uh, William Hills MD radio host, and we actually both went for the Benfica match. Uh, ben Benfica win. Is that who you'd be leaning towards or is this really anyone's game? Well, uh, I understand that point of view, of course, because uh, Benfica is an amazing farm. They they have like uh, on, on the on the offensive line, they, they have a, a great potential with the Jonas, Lima, Salve, Gaita, uh, an amazing offensive line. And, and at home, they are almost unbeatable. Uh, I have to say that they score at home, signed for Premier League, uh, for Premier League, since 2009. So the, the last time they failed to score was in 2009 at home. So it's it's incredible their offensive line there. Uh, but uh, uh, usually the games between Benfica and Porto, well, they can go either way. Yeah. And I have to say that Benfica on the past fail more on these kind of situations where they can't lose. Yeah, no, I agree. Both teams have met five times last year, so they are certainly no stranger to each other. Uh, but looking back at the scores and the winners, there's quite a lot of variation. So although last meeting at Porto, Benfica won 2-0. Uh, so what is your lean on the total goals in both teams scoring? And is this a tough match to predict? Yeah, true. You referred a very good match, uh, the one that they won 2-0. Well, but that, that game could have easily like five goals. Uh, uh, so I, I expect that this game, uh, they won't uh, fail so much. So I, I'm leaning towards for the over 2.5 goals here. And right. both teams scoring. Oh, OK. So the over 2.5 goals and both teams scoring. Um, will you combine those bets or will you play those bets separately? Well, I, I think we have plenty of value to play it safer, uh, like we usually do. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I, I would play a smaller stake, uh, definitely, I, I would combine the two. I, I think that uh, the over 2.5 goals has value with both teams scoring. Uh, I, I do not think that uh, a 3-0 for each side can be possible at this point. All right, so go on, Bernardo. What are the, what are the bets for this match that you've got for us today? Well, uh, the bets for this match, the, 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 the top pick here is the over 2.25. It's paying around 198. Uh, it's already dropped a little bit from two, uh, but it's plenty of value. Uh, and also both teams to score that is paying around 183 possible better on some other bookies uh, and I have two small shots here that uh, I can't miss it's 
Jonas, uh, the guy from offensive line from Benfica, uh, a guy that uh, it came for, for Benfica uh, uh, on past January without club, and he's doing amazingly, uh, and it's paying around 3.2, mm -hmm. uh, and also for Porto, Jackson Martinez to score uh, 2.75 on such game. Well, I, I, I have to put some money there too. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for those, Bernardo. Now, Bernardo, you're from theowltips.com. Uh, for those that are watching for the first time, can you tell us what theowltips.com is all about? Well, uh, the Outtips is uh, a, a, a total coverage of Portuguese leagues, uh, the first and the second one, and also all the uh, Portuguese teams that interact on UEFA Champions uh, and Champions League for the UEFA competitions. And we also cover World Cup and Euro Cup uh, on those years. So uh, we send uh, a newsletter with our with our bets uh, every time we have them. We have, we have games for the Portuguese leagues, and we are uh, verified by three independent sources, and we have a yield near eight percent, which is uh, a very good one in our in our opinion. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, Bernardo has been with us here for several years, providing winning tips week in, week out. Uh, if you want to check out theowltips.com, uh, you can find the link in the description below this video. Bernardo, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for the invitation, Adelaide.